I stood at the front of the line in front of police. I heard them show move and shove us with their bikes. I use a walker. I use a walker. Video posted online shows Calgary police using force against counter protesters who said they were downtown because they're tired of the weekly freedom protests disrupting their community. I was not given enough time to get out of the way. I was shoved into my counter protesters behind me. When my counter protesters moved to let me through, police used that as a means to try to break us up and assault us. This intersection is business as usual now, but Saturday afternoon, two groups of protesters were at a standstill. One group protesting COVID restrictions and vaccine requirements, the other group protesting the protesters. Calgary police saying in a statement, our members worked with all parties in attempt to negotiate an alternative that allowed them to peacefully demonstrate. However, after receiving limited cooperation and recognizing the volatility of the situation, officers had to take action to avoid further escalation of the crowd. It's the community itself, the people that live there and their friends and family that can show the freedom protesters that we are sick and tired of what's going on. Calgary Freedom Central, a Facebook page in support of the so-called freedom protests, said they've peacefully walked the route nearly every Saturday for the past year without incident, with police always clearing the route. They said their marchers held the line for an hour before police allowed them to pass on the sidewalk. Amber says with police allowing the freedom groups to pass the line, she felt that police weren't protecting her. We protected each other, not the Calgary police. And by the end of this, I was more afraid of the Calgary police than I was of the protesters. Calgary Mayor Jody Gondek responding to the protests on Twitter Saturday evening, saying that community members standing their ground are not counter protesters. They are people with a right to a safe and welcoming community. Enforcement must stand with the community. Premier Jason Kenney chiming in, saying he doesn't quite know what the freedom protesters are protesting. I uh, would suggest that, that maybe people could find more productive ways of uh, expressing their, their frustration. But maybe here's an idea. How about we all just move on from the frustration of COVID? How about we leave it in the rearview mirror? This was the second week of organized counter protests. And a spokesperson with the organizing group says Calgary Police's use of force won't dissuade them. I have to say that I, I'm super proud of myself and everyone else that showed up in support of Beltline communities, friends, neighbours. Uh, and uh, I'm emboldened, and I think we're all emboldened that uh, this is important to do what we're doing. City News reached out to police with additional questions, but did not receive a response prior to airtime. In Calgary, Jillian Code, City News.